everybody, it's Rizma V or Charisma, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all just saw me in the other video washing out my hair. If you didn't see the video, It'll be up here in the cards somewhere, whichever side. I am going to actually be doing braid outs. It's basically kind of my signature style. I've been wearing my hair out. This is gonna be on stretched hair. This is freshly washed hair. I actually bought this for my wigs. This is the heat protectant. All right, this is the blow dryer I'm gonna be using. It's the Infinite Pro by Kanye. I love this attachment. The double, the double cone attachment. The first thing I'm just gonna do is detangle it. So, if you follow me on TikTok, I do the tension method. So, you just hold the hair taut, you go up and down the hair shaft by holding the ends as straight as you can, and then go through it like that. So, I'm gonna put mine on one low. I'm back. I got my camera back. It's charged and ready to go now. It did die from last video, but it's it. That was a bit stressful, not gonna lie. Well, these are the products that I use in my hair from when I'm actually braiding it. I do the leave-in conditioner by As I Am, a castor and tea restoring oil, and the actual gel, Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. I would either use this or I would use um, the Orange Conditioning Jam. All right, now I don't use a rat tail comb nor do I have one, which is why I'm not gonna use it. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing the straightest parts ever, nor am I gonna be doing pretty sloppy when it comes to applying my conditioner, eco styler, and oil. finger detangle make sure that's all good my hands can really do it I'm gonna take leave-in conditioner first make sure I get the ends I use the oil basically to like trap the moisture and seal the leave-in conditioner 
I take some eco and I go in with the gel all down the shaft. Not really wanting to get to the root because we don't want puffy roots and I didn't start braiding from the base. So what you guys are seeing me do here is basically plait my hair, but as I'm going down my shaft, I'm also adding bits of gel so that my hair can flatten so it could be more defined in the braid out. Making sure not to touch much of the root of my hair so that the roots won't be puffy. And by adding the gel all the way down the hair shaft, we also don't mess up the curls and the definition. We're about to continue this. Guys, it is 6.45. I think I've been at this for about two and a half hours. All I have to do is this side basically, so that's about three rows. This row and this row is the same, so I have three rows to go. All right guys, so I'm on like my last couple of braids. So I'm actually braiding it over instead of under. So that's why they're not laying as flat as you would hope. And like, it's all, it's like all around and stuff like that. All right guys, I'm all done. Whew. I would either let this air dry or just blow dry it. I think I'm gonna let it air dry and then I'm gonna put on my scarf and bonnet combo. So today I'm actually going to be taking out these bird slash twists. I twisted them at the ends because the way my hair works, it literally, I can't braid it all the way through. It, maybe it's the way I braid. I don't know. I twisted it at the ends. So my hair definitely looks different from the regular like braid out or like regular twist out, whatever. But... I have been, they're like kind of like shortened and curled at the bottom because I've been wearing them in different styles. This is probably, it's probably like two to three days after I actually put these in. But these are protective styles, so I was literally like styling them and like doing certain things and like putting them up and all this stuff, which is why they look like this now. So obviously they need a little bit of a refreshment and then we'll be able to take them out. I'm going to spritz my hair with a little bit of this heat protectant again, and we're going to stretch these out. So I'm gonna clip one half up. Yeah, so I actually stretch it while it's in the twists or braids, if you wanna call it. Basically do the tension method again and just go up and down the shaft. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of oil to my scalp and on the hair shaft. Mini massage, mini massage. Okay, now we're gonna be taking them out, but I take them out very gently. gonna go ahead and start taking these bad boys out.
Okay, so this is one down, a whole lot more to go. I'll see you guys when I'm almost done. All right, guys, I'm almost done. I'm halfway done. It's been like an hour. I'm not even gonna lie, I am very serious. It's been like an hour, but Ooh, see how it's not that frizzy because I was very gentle. There's definitely probably some twist still in here, but I have yet to pick it out, separate the twists and the braids. So we're gonna do that once we're done with this half. Let's go. Do my perky dance. Perky dance, make them do my perky dance. All right. Perk teen, I just pop up perk teen. Perk 30, I just pop up perk 30. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do edges, but at the same time, I'm not really an edges type of girl. I know, I know, but I'm not. I'm not really an edges type of girl for real. Ooh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I think I missed one. Yep, I missed one. Now let's try this again. <laughs> I use the pick to get more volume. I know a couple of styles that I can do with this, but I'm going to choose to leave my hair alone. I'm gonna choose to not really manipulate and stuff like that for this week. I don't really want too much gel and um, product in there. Put some leave-in in it. And when I say I'll put some leave-in in it, I literally mean like probably like the small like a dime size amount like an actual dime size because i don't want it to weigh down my hair and like or cause any sh shrinkage that i don't need you can also like pull and blow dry your hair out as well but that's all i'm gonna be doing this is the look today a little bit more just a little bit more if you haven't noticed from my wash day routine, I love oil. I love oil. It's so hard for my hair to trap moisture without oil. So I really make it a big priority to keep up with oils in my hair. I will be talking to you guys later. That's it for this video. I am done with my hair. I hope you guys like the outcome and comment and like this video and also subscribe of course but yeah i think they came out pretty nice yeah. definition is there make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video and stay tuned for more videos to come bye guys mm -hmm.